dear students today we will start our next topic about angles what is the vertex and what are the arms of an angle as you see this is an angle it is made up of two arms with common point so the common point is called the vertex vertex is the common point of the angle common point or the same point and these two rays or the line segments if we take then these two rays are the arms of that angle then arms of angle are two rays so here if we take this angle this is the common point of the angle and this is the vertex of the angle and these two are the rays and the arms of the angle the common end point of two rays is called the vertex of the angle formed by them two rays forming an angle your two rays forming an angle are called the arms of the angle now how to name an angle name of this angle is if we talk about this angle the angle which is given here a is the vertex of the angle and ab ac these are two rays so it is called arms of the angle then arms of the angles are ab and ac so we start from one arm b a c or you can say c a b this is arms of this and this is the name of this angle and angle symbol is right angle a slanting line then a straight line and the main point about angle is the letter denoting the vertex should always be written in the middle whatever is the vertex vertex or the common point that should be written in the common whether we will write bac or cab a will be in the middle that should always in the middle so vertex is always in the middle now we come to worksheet 2 write the names of following angles here lm and mn are the arms you have to write the names of the angle so we will start from one l m should be in the middle because m is the vertex so l m n and next we will we can start from p we can start from r but we cannot start from vertex that is q we cannot start from vertex so we will start from p first of all write the symbol of angle slanting line then the straight line we will start from p then the vertex vertex should be in the middle q then uh, that is the name of this angle here angle is this so b will be the vertex so if we write this angle so we will say a vertex in the middle b then c this is angle a b c so first of all write symbol of angle then a middle vertex then c you can also write cba here you can also write rqp but remember vertex should always in the middle here angle x then vertex then next x y z 
why is the vertex so that is always in the middle here d first of all angle symbol then d vertex is e in the middle and then f d e f now in next question you are given a few angles complete the table first one is done for you you have given the angles here you have First of all, you have to write the vertex in this column and arms in this column. So, first one is done here in this angle. Vertex is Y, that is a common point, and arms are X, Y, Y, Z. Yeah, Y, X, Y, Z. You can start from vertex. So, Y, X, Y, Z. So that is the arm. And similarly, in this. The common point is M, so its vertex is M and arms are first is ML then MN. So we will write ML that is a ray, so we will write as ray. We will take from M point then MN that is always the ray. Here, vertex is E and arms are ED, arm, EF, arm. Angle name is DEF. Here, vertex is B, then arms are BA and B, C. In the next vertex is Q. Then arms are Q, P and Q, R. In question number 3, draw the following angles. You have to draw it in your notebooks. In this, you have to draw the following angle. First, you have to draw angle M and P. So, here vertex is N and arms are NM and NP. Remember, the point will be on N. So, first of all, we will take one arm. This is one ray. And we will write the name of this ray point is on N always remember because its vertex is N so the common point is N so here you will write N then P so first of all we take this ray one ray or one arm of the angle as NP now on N we will draw another arm of the angle that will be NM because here the vertex is N and the arms are NM and NP so you have to take the arms like this we have taken NP so here we will take NM then suppose I have taken this arm and I write here N M. So this is the angle M N P. And put the sign of angle here. So this is the way you can draw the angles. Next one is angle Z Y X. Z Y X. So here the vertex is Z and the arms are YZ and YX. As here the vertex is N and the arms are NM and NP. So here we will write the arms and the vertex. So now we will start draw this angle 
first of all take yz or yx any arm you can take first so i have taken this angle and i will write as y is the vertex and yz and yx are the arms so z y x is the angle now the next one angle b c d here we take vertex as c and arms are c b and c d so you can draw any angle if i take this angle so here the vertex is a c and c b and c d so we take b c d as the angle so it is angle b c d now in question number 4 how many angles are there in each figure you have to take the angles in this a part one angle two angle this is the third angle and this is the fourth angle so how many angles are there four in this next next figure one angle is this because two rays and one common point one angle is this two rays and one angle point one and two and this is also one of the angle because one common point and two rays are there so here we have three angles in the next 1 2 3 4 5 so we have five angles